The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and with your family. Great and wonderful news to give to you. And everything I'm about ready to share will be in our parish bulletin. It will be posted on our website. And there also is a letter coming to all our parishioners. But the great and wonderful news is that we are reopening our church for the celebration of public masses. Next weekend, June 6th and 7th, we will gather for the celebration of Mass. Daily Mass will resume at 9.30 on Monday morning, June the 8th. The obligation to attend Mass continues to be lifted, which means not to be anxious or worried if you're not able to come to Mass for whatever reason. The obligation has been lifted. We wish for everyone to return to Mass. However, if you are sick or there's some other reason why you cannot come, we certainly understand and we look forward to the day that you're able to be with us. We will continue to stream our Sunday Mass up until now, including this Sunday. It is the 9 o'clock Mass, but we will be streaming the 11 o'clock Mass on June the 7th. The Mass schedule for that weekend, the 6th and 7th, will be Saturday afternoon, the Vigil Mass at 5.30, and then on Sunday morning, 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock. We will not have, for the time being, we will not have a 9 o'clock Mass because we have to clean the church after each Mass, and we know that we would not have enough time to do that. With regard to coming to church, before you even come, we ask that you, uh, before you enter the church, that is, to wear a face mask and to keep it on throughout the Mass. The only time that you would remove it is to be able to receive Holy Communion. When entering the church, there will be two entrances, uh, the doors by the Blessed Mother statue and the main doors in the back of the church. We will have hand sanitizers available at the doors of the church. Ushers will be available to lead you to your pew. We will be seating people uh, from the front of the church to the back of the church. And when it's time to leave after Mass, we will exit beginning with those in the back of the church and working our way toward the front. In so doing, people will not be passing each other. We will be using every third pew. And families are allowed to sit together, don't have to worry about um, social distancing with family members, but with other members of the parish, you'll have to maintain the six feet uh, social distancing. We expect to be able to have 200 people, we'll squeeze a little more if we have to, 200 people at each of the masses, because obviously we're not going to be using all the pews. During mass, we will have a worship aid because we're not gonna have the blue prayer books in the pews but we will provide everyone when you come into church, the parish bulletin, not to read the bulletin, of course, but to uh, find in there uh, the readings for the day, for the mass, and also the music for the mass. There will be no sign of peace. And of course, we will not be distributing the precious blood. With regard to receiving Holy Communion, instead of coming up in a line, we're going to have the communion ministers go between the pews and come to you to bring communion. For those not able to receive Holy Communion, we simply ask you to fold your arms across your chest. And we are asking everyone, if you could receive Holy Communion in your hand, that would be uh, a preferred way to do it. Uh, certainly the extraordinary ministers would be very pleased if our parishioners were able to do that. After Mass, uh, again, you will be led out by the ushers and we will begin uh, with the back of the church and moving toward the front as you exit the church. And as we promised, we will have outside church after mass, the blessed palm that you've been waiting to receive and also the Easter holy water. Both of those will be available after mass on the lawn of the church. We need volunteers, many, many different volunteers to be ushers, to be greeters, to help with the cleaning of the church. And we ask that you call Audrey Wilson. Uh, her phone number, it's a rectory number, 
Uh, but the phone number and her email address will be in the parish bulletin and on the website. I also want to continue to say thank you for your contributions for the Sunday collection, those who are bringing them to the rectory, those who are sending them in, and all those doing it electronically. We thank you very, very much for doing that. With regard to the pot of gold, we're very happy to say that that too uh, will be starting again. The first drawing will be June 22nd, and we invite our sellers to begin selling the tickets for the drawing on the 22nd of June. We're very happy to be able to do that again. And let us pray. Lord, send the fire of your Holy Spirit deep within us so that we can continue to serve you and our brothers and sisters as we prepare to return to the table of your Son. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.